Well, I have saved the best for last, and today we are going to be making our Asian plum sauce. This, I believe, is gonna be the last recipe I'm canning from my fruit trees and also from my garden. So I am taking this recipe out of the Ball Complete Book of Home Canning and Home Preserving, I guess. And this is such an amazing recipe. I'm gonna post it in the description. It is kind of a sweet and spicy recipe. It is so good. It's Asian inspired and honestly, you could put it on anything. But if you have, you know, kind of a broccoli beef or whatever it is that you're making, this is so good. So we're gonna start off with our apple cider vinegar. Now this is the vinegar that I have been making out of my basil and also my persimmons. So oh, it smells so good. So I'm gonna put this in a stainless steel pan. I'm gonna list all the ingredients in the description and also on the screen, but I do have some brown sugar. So I put my brown sugar, my cider vinegar, I've got some regular sugar, I'm gonna add that. I've got some chopped onions, I'm gonna add those. I've got some, these are actually some chopped poblano peppers. I'm gonna add those to my mixture. I've got some minced garlic and I've also got some uh, minced uh, ginger, which I ran through the food processor. And I've also got some salt and some mustard seed. So I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer and mix all these ingredients together. And then we're gonna add the star of the show, which is the chopped plums. Now I have chopped up 10 cups of those beautiful plums that were off of my plum tree. So as soon as this comes up to a simmer, I'm gonna go ahead and add my plums. Now this is gonna cook a long time. I'm gonna be stirring it occasionally, but this is gonna cook about one and a half hours, maybe to almost two hours. So it's got a long time, it's gonna be in here, it's gonna be cooking down and making this amazing plum sauce. This stuff is so good. And then I will be jarring it up but I'll show you the next step as soon as we add the plums. So I've got this cooking, I've got it boiling. So what I'm gonna be doing is adding all of my plums. And since I don't want them to splatter, I'm just gonna scoop them in with a spoon and put them all in the container. Well, my plum sauce is done, so we're gonna can it up. So all we're gonna do is put this hot sauce into our really hot jars. We're gonna fill these to a half an inch of the head space, which is half an inch right up until the top of the jar. And then we're gonna can these in a water bath canner for 20 minutes. Well, my uh, beautiful Asian plum sauce is all done. In the end, I ended up getting five and a half pints of this delicious sauce. It is beautiful as well as tastes so good. Thank you for watching today. I hope that this inspired you. If you've got a glut of plums or uh, plums that you can get at the grocery store or maybe some from a friend, this is a fantastic recipe. I will post it online for you. I hope that if you make it, you enjoy it and have a great evening. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.